Hey, what up, Brodies? Now, I told you guys six months ago that I did get my video flagged and I ended up getting a copyright strike. And it was an undeserved copyright strike because I didn't do anything wrong. So I'm gonna take you guys through the process, but first for those people who are watching because they have a copyright strike, hopefully it's not too late, but the first advice I can give you is do not, and I repeat, do not delete the video. That was my mistake. Now, I ended up uploading a video, you know, basically what anyone else would do. The Super Bowl was coming, so I wanted to know, you know, my sub subscribers, excuse me, who they were going for, who they thought would win, all that kind of information. So when I'm rendering the video, editing the video, I saved the file as, you know, Super Bowl, whatever number it was, or something to that effect. So as soon as the video uploaded, YouTube immediately got me gave me a copyright strike for the video and flagged it and everything just for the fact of it being a title like I was trying to put out real footage of the Super Bowl or something so my video ended up getting flagged right away as soon as the upload finished as soon as it was done processed so immediately what I did what you know any normal person would do is try to get that copyright strike gone now, I didn't look too much into it I was just like okay I'm gonna delete this video so right away I deleted the video and then I did a little more research because the copyright strike was still there after re-uploading the video with a different title and nothing happened so obviously YouTube made a mistake I did nothing wrong and after doing that I looked around and found out that you can dispute it and that's the way to get rid of it so you just go to the section of settings and you, you know right you guys know how to get there so I made the huge mistake of deleting my video and then I had to wait six months so basically after deleting it all I could do is acknowledge it and so it was there so I don't know how much it affected me personally I don't know if it affects views or anything like that I'm still partner didn't have any problems the only thing I couldn't do is really change the additional features so I had the same video play because you know how you guys can set up a video that comes out at the bottom of the screen like an annotation that pops up the feature video on your on all your videos so I did that, but I couldn't change it, so I had a really old video. So it was kind of, um, how would you say, what's the word for it? It's kind of, not ironic, what, I, why can't I think of the word for it? It's kind of um, inconvenient, there you go. I don't know why it took me so long to think that word, but it was really inconvenient. So I just want to help you guys out to anyone who's ever got a copyright strike or is going to get one. You know, if you have one, just make sure not to delete the video, to dispute it if you can. Uh, this isn't a video on how to get around it if you did get it, and you actually did put some copyrighted material out. So this is just a warning, just don't delete the video. You know, just kind of dispute it, make sure you're actually doing the right thing, because I was wrongly accused and YouTube does mess up. You know, I've heard of multiple people wrongly being accused, that's how I found out the information, how to get it to go away. So this is just my video to tell you guys about it, but it is gone. I'm going to try to partner with full screen because I'm cursed right now. I don't really know if there's more benefits, but I'm kind of just going around just seeing what's new. And a lot of people say they like full screen. Curse is good. I have no problem with it. They have the dashboard and everything. I could see everything. So I know how much I'm getting paid. Nothing is surprising. So it's not a bad network, but I just kind of want to shop around just to test out different things even though full screen does have the two-year contract which is kind of unfortunate and curse doesn't but that's just what I wanted to do so this is just me kind of updating you guys on my copyright strike and that's gone and I'll try to have a video talking about another important topic that I, I think is pretty interesting that YouTube just added in the next video so I hope for my subscriber that you guys enjoyed this GTA 5 gameplay and I'll try to get a lot more out if you guys do like it so thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you're new. If you haven't already, I forgive you. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out, brodies.